Hello, it's Andy Prothero from PCR Global with Llewellyn. Just out in the woods, just taking two minutes here um, to answer a question from Bradley Guest earlier on who said he would like to hear my, my sort of take on the relationships between risk management, crisis management and business continuity management. So I thought I'd stop my walk to be able to do that. When I look at the relationships, I tend to come at it from an ISO perspective because there's a lot of information in there that is hopefully going to be um, used by other people. And what I mean, I see information, I mean definitions as well. So we're all sort of on the same page. So I come at it from an ISO perspective, but I also come at it from a company perspective. One, because I've got my own company and two, because I actually assist other companies in, in various sort of uh, disciplines. Looks like he's found an ant. Um, so from the ISO perspective, ISO 22301 for business continuity, ISO 31000 for risk management and ISO 22361 for crisis management, not to be confused with ISO 2316, um, which is Organisational Resilience from 2017. So there's the three differences. There are three different ISO standards. Um, the three concepts themselves, they are interchangeable. If you look at a timeline within an organisation, you can sort of look at the similarities there as well. And what about the definition? So risk, so risk management, the definition for risk, uh, the effect of uncertainty on objectives. So as soon as you start thinking objectives, you can link it uh, to that organisational perspective. So all organisations exist to achieve their objectives. Um, and that uncertainty on that objectives, um, and that could be obviously positive and negative as well, as we know. So we're looking at sort of threats and opportunities, but it's important to think about it from the objectives element. So as your organisation goes on, um, ultimately that risk, that risk theme should be enti entirely throughout the organisation. It is an iterative process. And if you look at the six steps um, within the risk management process, again, it is iterative. So that risk theme <laughs> can go all the way through uh, the organisation. Whereas if we look at something like crisis management, yes, you are doing your planning and preparation. Um, and yes, risk is... is all through crisis management as a matter of fact if you look at a standard one of the principles is risk management where it says that um, at all you know throughout the entire organization risk management act activities will, will be undertaken so it is a principle in crisis management but one of the main difference there with a crisis if you've got a crisis that's where it differs that's where it differs from sort of business continuity because it's right at the strategic level and um, the definition i'm going to try and pull it out of my brain the definition of a crisis within within the ISO standard, I think it's abnormal or extraordinary event or situation um, that threatens the organisation and it requires a timely, a sort of adaptive um, response um, in order that the, that the organisation, you know, to keep the organisation afloat, ultimately. It's not an, exa not an exact um, definition there, but it is about, about the viability and the credibility of the organisation. So if you're in a crisis situation, um, and crisis in a plane and crisis um, unlike an emergency in some in some points it's not geographical so it can happen uh, um, you can have a crisis in in one region that's going to affect the other regions within your organization so a crisis it is that strategic impact that's going to threaten the viability of the organization that's a major difference there Look at the relationship with business continuity. So if you read the Business Continuity Good Practice Guidelines 2018 or, as we say, 22301, it separates the two there, as does the ISO as well, um, uh, 22301. It separates the difference between risk assessment and business impact analysis. The Good Practice Guidelines, when they break down um, the business impact analysis, it actually says in there not to undertake the, the threat and risk assessment at the same time as your as you're working through the business impact analysis. The business impact analysis, you could quite easily say it's a, it's a risk assessment, wrong, it's a sort of risk assessment process, isn't it? Because that, there is analysis going in there. But when you're doing your business impact analysis, you are basically looking at disruptions. What can get disrupted? If you're going to do an activity business impact analysis, right at the, the low level or a process, which is just up a little bit, or in the initial, which is a high level sort of framework business impact analysis where you are potentially looking at where else you're going to do those more uh, activity or process based business impact analysis. When you are doing those, you are looking for disruptions, disrupt, disruptive events. What can 
stop the organisation from delivering its products and services. Um, so the definition, I'll try and pull out the definition of, um, of that business continuity, and that is the, you know, the ability of the organisation, the capability, I should say, of the organisation to deliver its products and services within acceptable timeframes against predetermined um, capacity or capability in order to, you know, to manage it through a disruption. If we think about the teams, so you can have a crisis management team and a business continuity management team. Um, so the business continuity management team, again, the, the, it, it, you're doing this before before the event. So it's not an actual event. So um, you are working that out where these disruptive incidents are going to be. And that can be at the strategic, tactical and operational level, whereas crisis is generally the um, strategic level, which is uh, the high level. So thinking back to the team again, the crisis management team, the crisis management team, within that team, you could have a business continuity management representative because they are going to be commenting on the business continuity sort of preparedness and the solutions that have already been pre-agreed. That crisis may not even fall into um, any one of those categories again, because that is the thing about a crisis. It is an extraordinary um, event um, that again, might not be listed uh, on any of your plans. Back to that business impact analysis um, and separating that from the sort of the threat and risk assessment as, as they, they recommend. With your business impact analysis, you're looking at your disruptions. You're looking at your maximum permissible tolerable downtime or disruption. So you're working that out. What is the least, what is the least resource um, that we can operate on? And you're attaching that to the timeframes. By when do we need to have enough resource? Um, so you, you sort of very often look at those business continuity objectives, but reaching that level where we can st sustain and deliver products and services during a disruption. Is there a strong relationship between them? Definitely. Are there definite um, separations? Um, yes, in certain areas. And I think I, I, the way I look at it is, is that it's the crisis element. That crisis is so strategic, it's going to knock your whole organisation out. Um, but remembering the onset of crisis, which is different to incidents, if you think about uh, the, an incident compared to a crisis, again, that, that onset can be from a, um, a mismanaged business disruption. So what was identified as a, a sort of a bi business continuity issue, where if you, if you fail to deal with that, that can then lead into a crisis. So that's the big one, crisis being that strategic piece. The risk management theme being that constant theme throughout them, um, but also that business, when we move on to business continuity, then it is that separation as well. So the links are certainly there, but uh, the, the differences are there as well. Um, obviously, you could talk about this subject for so long. There is so many sort of nuances and differences, but those are my sort of the, the, the main differences uh, that, that, that comes out of my head when I'm thinking about it. And that's it. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy and stay productive.